Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair with a henna mix. I recently found out that there were different henna mixes that make different colors. I've only ever used pure henna powder with nothing else in the mix. So I was just really curious to try a different colored henna mix to see if it works and to see if it felt as nice on my hair. So I got this powder. It's 100% natural mahogany henna powder. So the first step on how to use this is to wash your hair beforehand and then it says to pour the powder into a bowl and add one quarter of a cup of water to it. Stir the paste vigorously to avoid the formation of lumps. Make sure the paste is not drippy, but that it has a creamy soup-like consistency. For better conditioning, they recommend also to add an egg or two to three teaspoons of olive oil or yogurt to the paste to treat dry or damaged hair. I've never heard of adding these things to a henna paste. For better color results, they also recommend squeezing a lemon into the henna paste to lighten the blonde shade. For chocolatey brown, add two to three tablespoons of coffee. On the other hand, for a deeper red shade, add beetroot juice. I think I'm just gonna add the olive oil and leave it at that. Oh, at least I can see the color. It's a lot more orange than I was expecting. Orangey yellow. It is a bit messy. It smells pretty weird. It reminds me of the smell of dirt. It's not pleasant. There is no way. I used a quarter of a cup of water like they recommended on the package, but there is no way that this is a soup-like consistency. I think they meant like half a cup because this is really dry and super clumpy. I'm gonna go try to put some more water in. I just came back from adding more water to this. I haven't mixed it properly yet, but funny story, as soon as I walked into the living room, my boyfriend was like, huh, what's that? It smells pretty bad. Well, this is closer, but it's definitely not there yet. Now it's still clumpy, but just wetter clumps. I'll be back after I add some more water. I'm finally back. I just kept adding water and mixing it and a quarter of a cup or even half a cup was never gonna do it. Also because I added it in small amounts since a quarter of a cup should have been enough, this turned out to be way lumpier than it was supposed to and I've already tried mixing it to death and a lot of the lumps have gotten smaller but it's just still a bit too lumpy. Also something I forgot to mention earlier was that this package that I got also came with these two. This is a hair cap because you're supposed to put this on your hair, put the hair cap over it and just let it be for four hours or so. And it also came with two gloves, so hopefully my skin won't be stained.
here I don't know if you can see that and my forehead is a bit as well just all over I knew it uh, I do thought you were still on the phone And, uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, you get used to it. <laughs> yeah, so I think I got it pretty much everywhere and I just have to wait for quite a while. So I'm back. I kept the henna on my hair for about four to five hours. I was actually quite worried that I wouldn't see a difference just because after rinsing my hair I realized that my hair looked exactly the same when it was wet so I was like maybe this actually wasn't that effective and my hair is gonna look exactly the same but once it dried I really could tell a difference I hope it says noticeable on camera it definitely looks different it looks a bit in between red and brown now which is actually pretty nice i wasn't sure about how it would turn out but i'm really really happy with the results and yeah my hair just feels slightly softer nothing too crazy honestly i did have a couple of problems with it just because in the beginning i didn't really know the amount of water that i should put in and the package said a quarter of a cup was enough which clearly it wasn't other than that it's just a little bit annoying that you have to keep it on your hair for so long but at least i'm glad i had a shower cap that i could just put on and not really have to worry about the henna paste falling on like the floor or my clothes or anything. I'm really happy with the results. I've never tried a henna mix that wasn't just henna and nothing else mixed in, but I like the fact that it's a slightly different color and the process is basically the same. I don't think adding olive oil to it made any difference that I can tell, honestly. I wouldn't really recommend it. I just think mix it with water and that's all. Anyway, I'm really happy how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.